Hi Pokey, you can see too? <laughs> hey guys, so in Japan we have a custom where we eat soba noodles at the end of the year. It's been around like since Edo period for hundreds of years apparently. Like uh, the length of noodles is a symbol of longevity and it's believed to bring you good luck. And we usually eat, start eating like 11 p.m. and stay up late until midnight and start the new year. And if you happen to live near temples, you can hear priests ring bells for like 108 times. Apparently that's the number of human sins and desires and they do it for purification. 108 sounds like a lot. What are your sins and desire as a cat? Sleep and be lazy? <laughs> anyway, I'm making soba this time with shrimp tempura. And I'm also going to make nori tempura and challenge sakurako as well. Snack challenge. As for soba, there are two types. One is nama, which means raw and fresh. The other is dry type, kanmen, like pasta. I'm using nama because I prefer the texture. And there's not much cooking for soba. You literally just boil soba noodles and use these like a broth with tsuyu that we get from grocery store. Add some hot water, mix in, and dip it and eat it. That's what we usually do at home. But, but, with really nice fresh tempura, it oh, like completely different. It elevates the whole soba dish. So I'm going to more focus on making tempura today and seaweed nori tempura. Long soba noodle is a symbol for longevity. I don't know if tempura contributes to longevity, but you know, I'm not hearing bells from temples purifying my human sins and desire. I'm just gonna follow my desire for food. Just like you, Pokey. Ow! <laughs> All right, let's get started. Flour. These are the ingredients for the batter, and which will become the outside layer of tempura. It's called koromo in Japanese. And when the koromo is cold, you can make that koromo crispy when you deep fry it. So yeah, keep this in the fridge. Okay, next, shrimp. Hi Haku. I'm gonna deshell the shrimp. Haku, you're messing up the focus. <laughs> Hi, you're so helpful. Thank you though. <laughs> I usually keep the shell, bake it, and blend it, and it becomes like this. It makes really nice shrimp flakes that you can use for anything. Yeah. Next, cut off the tip of the tail here. There's a little bit of liquid water inside, and it splashes when you deep fry it, which is not safe. So, cut off the tip here. and then rinse them with water and dry them with paper towel. Next, in order to prevent shrimp curling up like this while it's deep fried, shallow cuts here, a few millimeters. Then stretch it out by squeezing with fingers, like this. A little bit longer. Actually, I forgot to mention, my shrimp are pretty fresh, so it was pretty easy to devein, but make sure to devein. Use a toothpick to squeeze it out, or use a knife to slice it open, and take it out. You can use any veggies you like. And also, nori. When you deep fry okra, make sure you make some holes. Otherwise, it'll explode. <laughs> Shiz leaves. I don't know what this one's called in English. It's the type of bean that you eat the whole thing, not just beans inside. All right. One egg yolk and cold water. and then add a flour little by little. And make sure you don't mix in too much. Otherwise, because of gluten, the crunchy koromo will not be crunchy. There are many ways to make tempura, and this time I'm trying to do like a hana age style, where you get lots of lots of butter and crunchy bits. 
coating the ingredients. But if you go to like a fancy tempura restaurant, then they make the koromo, the outside layer, very, very thin so that you can enjoy the full potential of the ingredients. Okay, tempura is ready. So coat whatever ingredients you want to deep fry with flour first, lightly. And then dip it in the butter and oil. And if you have a pet, make sure they don't mess up with your cooking. <laughs> I can't let my guard down. No bookie. No. Drop some butter. And if it floats quickly, and then it's ready. Coat shrimp with flour. And then butter. All right, deep fried. Then extra butter on it. By the way, some of you might have seen like tempura shokunin workers put their fingers in the oil. That's because it's coated by butter. It's not that hot. For a few seconds. The surface that is not touching oil is moist, so make sure you flip it and rotate every now and then to make sure you evaporate the water and make it crispy. And when the size of the bubble becomes smaller, then it's ready. Sink it for a few seconds. All right. Crispy shrimp tempura. You know what? I can't wait. <laughs> so it's not even ready. Put some salt. Ah, I can't wait. <laughs> Taste of sins, but it tastes great. <laughs> it's been a while since I last had shrimp tempura, but oh my god, it's so freaking good. <laughs> Nori. Nori ten. All right, Noriten. I'm really curious how the Sakurako Noriten snacks taste like. Ta-da! Tempura is done. Let's plate these. Yosh. Last, sprinkle some salt. Yay, the Brasova is done. All right, I'm gonna challenge Sakurako with my Nori Tempura snack. Hey, All right, judgment time. Thank you to Sakurako for sponsoring this video and giving me an opportunity like this. Sakurako is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box that lets you experience Japan from the comfort of your home. They partner with the local Japanese snack makers to provide 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese tea, and a special Japanese item every month. This time, it's Neko Furoshiki, and this month's theme is New Year's in Hiroshima. It comes with a booklet that has information about all the snacks, ingredients, and allergens, as well as Japanese culture. If you're interested, you can use my code in the description to get $5 off of your first box. All right, I'm gonna try these. Lemon cream cookie, omikuji fortune telling candy, and of course, nori ten. All right, itadakimasu. Oh, Okay, oh, so kinda cool. Ta-da! Lucky cat, Boki, bring us some luck. Green apple, I get small fortune. If I get lemon flavor, I get medium fortune. And if I get strawberry, Great fortune. Hmm. I got strawberry. It's really good. <laughs> and my lucky cat. Thank you, Pookie. All right. Next, lemon cookie. And I love the design. It's so detailed. I honestly don't know how they did this. This is really good. It's really lemony. Hmm. All right. Next, Lori Rachel! 
Bye. Okay, Sakura ko Noriten snacks. And this is the one I made. Hi. Okay, ja, judgment on Stand out with mine. Did you hear the sound? Very crispy. I was able to make it crispy. I'm already proud. I'm already proud. Itadakimasu. It was actually better than I expected. Mm, very crispy. So... Mm, I would say... 5 out of 10. The crispiness is very good, but it needs more flavor and it's very oily. I agree, especially with the oil. I think that's why they also use... Um, I think that's one of the reasons why they use wine vinegar mm. to, you know, to balance out mm. oily food and something fresh. Yeah. So, itadakimasu. I think. <laughs> wow. Especially after eating mine, the wine vinegar, like it needs to be there. Five out of five. Five out of five. Perfect. That's so good. This is I wow. want more. I want more. <laughs> you got your own packet too. I know. Give me some. Wow. Salty, vinegary. But not crispy. too not too vinegary. And not too oily. It's perfect. Yeah. Wow. That was amazing. Can I have your shrimp? Yeah, this is our bin. Yes. <laughs> I am very happy to accept my last this time. It was really good. Alright. I'm gonna beg for food with our cats. Okay. I'm so hungry. Well, you can have our dinner. Alright. Lose dinner time. Dark Mmm. Mmm. Eating soba around this time of year. I like it. it reminds me of childhood. Joya no kane. There's actually a Wikipedia page with a video or sound, I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Eating soba, purify myself, purify my mind, cleansing, washing off all my desires and sins. That sounds really creepy. <laughs> Anyway, I hope this year was great for you guys, and happy holidays! See you next time! Bye!